Hey guys, recently I was thinking about my last video I put out and how I said I was, you know, creating healthier habits to not focus on losing weight. And thinking about that episode, it made me think about the amount of times I've put a lot of pressure on myself about you know what I was eating and how much I was exercising and how much you know that side and my body image affected my mental health and if you're someone who's new I have struggled with my mental health for the last nine years the last three years I've really you know dug deep into why certain things make me anxious and why certain things make me depressed. And the more I thought about it, the more I could think back and connect, you know, my anxiety or my depression back to my body image. And in the beginning, a lot of the times I got very upset or very depressed and would spiral was when I was doing, you know, every workout plan. I was eating, trying to at least eat the healthiest that I could. And at the end of the day or the end of the week or the end of the month, like if I wasn't seeing the results that I thought I should have been seeing, I would get so upset and so sad and so depressed and I would downgrade myself and I would, you know, what is wrong with you? Why can't you lose weight? why can't you look this certain way why is no no change in your body and i would allow myself to get so depressed that i would be depressed for like days weeks there was one time i was depressed for like a whole month because i was intensely putting my mind through the ringer of you know you have to eat this way your body has to look this way when you put on clothes you have to look this certain way and why are you not looking this way and when I stopped you know with the diet culture when I stopped intensely working out when I allowed myself to take that step back mentally it put me in a different headspace and I think a lot of the changes I've made recently within the last month and a half has really, you know, just smoothed out how anxious or how depressed I've been. Like, I feel like since I've started this journey and since I've started changing my thoughts about my body and how I look down at my body or how I see myself, I think it's mentally put me in a better space like I've been happier I've not been so upset and I've just had some really good days and I can say like last month I had a really good month and yes there were times where I looked in the mirror and I got anxious about the way my body looked or there have been two times that I've been changing into my PJs and I've looked down at my body and I've got very upset and sad and depressed about it. But during those moments, I've also given myself grace because I know that I'm going to have bad days and I'm going to have moments where those thoughts and those feelings come up. And kind of like how I've done it with my mental health is when feelings come up, and when certain emotions come up or certain thoughts come up, I've allowed myself to feel them. And then I've allowed myself to kind of walk through that emotion. Like I say to myself, okay, this emotion came up, sadness. Okay, why am I upset? Okay, it's, you know, looking down at my stomach. Okay, well, why did that make you upset? Because I looked down at my stomach and I saw my stretch marks and I saw my, you know, flabby area and I didn't like it. Okay, how are we going to, you know, change that thought to maybe not make it so sad? And, you know, recently when I've done that, I've kind of just looked down at myself and I'm like, you know what? 
it's okay that you feel that way, but we're on this journey where we're not saying those things to ourselves. Yes, your stomach is going to look that way, but that's okay because you are beautiful on the inside and out. And we're just going to be gentle with ourselves and move forward. And I thought to myself, okay, what are things that have become habits for me that I kind of need to stop doing so then I don't get anxious or sad about it? And things that would make me really anxious or give me anxiety is, you know, looking in the mirror when I do my hair or do my makeup and noticing my double chin and being just like upset and anxious about the way it looks or the way it looks in photos and stuff like that. And now I just don't look at that area in the mirror. I do my hair, I do my makeup, and I kind of avoid, you know, turning to the side, looking at myself, so then I don't feel that feeling. Or, you know, when I would put certain clothes on, or when I would put a tight shirt on, or a dress, or recently with my bodysuits, I would close my door and look at my full length mirror, and I would turn to the side, and I would kind of, you know, look at my body, and that would make me really like upset if I didn't like what I saw or make me really anxious that like you could see uh you know the rolls in my back from where the fabric went in and my habit for that would have been either two one of two things it would have been putting a sweater on top of that so then I was still wearing it but you couldn't see it or I was changing completely so then I was in like a sweater or a baggy shirt because then I felt comfortable and something for me I just stopped doing is I stopped looking in the mirror as often at my outfits because I know that if I do that and I don't like what I'm like don't like what I see in the mirror I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna be upset with myself because for one I really wanted that to wear that cute outfit but you know my anxiety and my depression stopped me from doing that and then you know it's just going to lead me to not wanting to wear that outfit again. And then that outfit's just going to sit in my closet. And then sooner or later, I'm just going to get rid of it because I know that if I put it on, I'm going to feel a certain way. So kind of like with my body suits lately, I just don't look in the mirror. There are certain times that I do look at, you know, certain outfits to put them together, but I don't allow myself to stare too long or to think about it too long because I know if I do that, then I'm going to feel a certain way and it's just going to be ruined and I'm going to take it off and I'm never going to wear it again. And I realize that too with changing clothes. If I look down at my body, then I'm automatically going to comment on the way my body looks. I'm going to comment on the flabby parts. I'm going to comment on my stomach, on my stretch marks. I'm going to say something about myself and when I do that, I'm going to get sad. I'm going to get depressed. And then I'm going to sit in bed, I'm going to cry, and sometimes I've done it where I've cried myself to sleep because I've just been so upset. So now recently I've just allowed myself not to do that. Like when I change, I'm not looking down at my body because if I don't look down at it, then I won't have those thoughts and I won't have those comments. But for me... I've done these things for so long that they become like a habit of mine that when I look down at my body, I'm automatically saying something mean. Or when I put an outfit on, I'm automatically looking in the mirror to see what I look like or what my body looks like. Just so then like, if I don't like it, then I can change. And I've just realized that to break a habit you kind of have to force yourself to stop doing those habits to begin with. You know, to form a habit, it's something you do every single day. And then after so long, it just becomes something you do without thinking about. And I think because I've done these things for so long that I just do them without thinking about it. But I've realized that to nip that in the butt... I have to think about it before I do it to stop myself from doing it. And I have just realized that over the last month and a half, the more that I focus on these things that I'm doing and kind of, you know, slowly stop doing them, the happier I've been. 
Now, I've had a couple times of weakness where I've gotten anxious about going out in a certain shirt or a certain outfit. And, you know, in that moment, I allow myself to be anxious. But then I say to myself, you know what? No one is going to say a thing about the way you look. You know, your husband thinks you look beautiful and this outfit does wonders for you. It is a cute outfit. You look great in it. And you know what? We're not going to think about the outfit or how we look. We're just going to have a good time. I recently had to do that for Valentine's Day. I was wearing a bodysuit and I was wearing tight leggings. And Ken had recently picked out this little kind of lightweight sweater that had poofiness. And when I looked at myself in the mirror or when I was looking back through the video that I took for Valentine's Day I automatically was like oh my gosh I look so huge that you know everything's so tight you can see everything and when I did that I took a step back and I said you know what today is Valentine's Day this is a very cute outfit and we are not going to let those thoughts deter us from having a great time celebrating today with my husband so I tucked that thought away I did allow myself to think the way I thought and I allowed myself to think through it and talk through it and I can tell you that in that moment after we went out when we had sushi when we got ice cream I did not one time think about my outfit or my stomach or my body and it also made me realize that when you think back on your life and you think back of the best moments you've had, those moments of just pure fun and excitement and laughter, in those moments, those moments had nothing to do with your body. You know, it had nothing to do with the way you thought about the clothes you were wearing or your stomach or your arms or your face. Like, you are just purely having fun in that moment. And I've thought back of how many times I've looked at pictures and picked myself apart and got upset about it and depressed because of the way I look. And that's something else that I've had to, you know, give myself grace and be easy on myself about is like I know that I'm automatically going to have those thoughts. So now when I look at pictures and everything, I just think of the moment around that picture and how much fun we were having like with family and friends and it kind of allows me to shift how I really view the picture and it just makes me like feel better and puts me in a happier mood because we can allow things to ruin our joy and if our body is one of the things that ruins our happiness and ruins our joy then it's always going to continue to do that as long as we continue to let it do that and for me I just really had to sit with this the other day and realize and connect how many times my body image struggle has affected my mental health and how many times my mental health has affected my body image because it's like vice versa. Like if I'm upset about my body and I'm feeling a certain way, then that automatically makes me feel anxious and then it makes me still feel sad and then it makes me feel depressed. But then when I get anxious, then I'm all I'm thinking about is my body and what I'm wearing. Or if I'm sad and depressed, then what I'm really doing to myself in that depression is being mean to myself, saying, you know, if I would have ate the right certain foods, if I would exercise more or do the certain exercises, then my body wouldn't look the way it looks. So they kind of go hand in hand because I've definitely done that where I've gotten anxious and the whole time or the whole night or no matter where we're at and what we're doing, all I'm doing is thinking about my body. And all I'm doing is thinking about how anxious I feel, you know, to be out in it. And it's ruined a lot of the best times for me because I'm just so self-conscious. And again, with even getting sad and depressed, 
I can say that there's been times where I've been so depressed that I start being really mean to myself and I start saying really mean things to myself like you are worthless, you're never going to be beautiful, you're, you know, you're fat and you're ugly and your husband really doesn't love you. And you know, when you put certain things on, he's disgusted. And of course, he's not. And there's never been anybody who's ever commented on my body. And I think that sometimes we just let ourselves really get in our own heads. And a lot of the time we don't realize how much stress we're putting on ourselves and how mentally, like, that is just putting a toll on your mental health. And it's really not good. And I just realized that the more I get confident in my own skin and the more I just feel, you know, more comfortable, the less depressed I get, the less, less anxious I get, and, you know, the happier I'm allowing myself to be. And of course, like I've always said, there are going to be bad days and there are going to be bad moments. And of course, so far in the last, you know, month and a half, I've had two times where I've looked down at my body and I've cried and got really depressed. And actually in those two moments, my husband, you know, was there and he, all he said was, are you upset because of your body? And I said, yes. And he said, come here. And, you know, he, he was holding me while I was crying and he's like, it's okay. You know, you're going to have these moments but just remember the journey you're on. And then we can just sit there and he can let me cry. And sometimes when I get really depressed, he just kind of holds me. And it's not even like, he doesn't even have to say anything. I think it's just like knowing that he's there to support me, to know like it's okay to just let me cry it out and I'll get through it. And I think sometimes you just have to allow yourself to do that. Like allow yourself to get really anxious, but then allow yourself to let it go or allow yourself to get upset, allow yourself to get sad, allow yourself to cry and then let it go. How to prevent yourself from feeling that way in the future. And I think that's a tactic for me. Like I said, I've had to do because all these things and these thoughts have become just a habit that I've had to be gentle with myself and have grace with myself and be easy with myself and allow those actions to happen and those thoughts to come up, but then kind of combating that and saying, okay, it's okay that you thought that way. It's okay that you said that, but what are we going to do now in the future so that doesn't happen again? And like I said, just for me, not looking at myself in the mirror for too long, not looking at my full length mirror, you know, not commenting on myself in pictures, I've done this a lot with like vlogs where I've looked back and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at my body. And I've had to stop myself from doing that. I'm like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. I remember that there were times like I would take out certain videos because of the way my body looked and I was anxious that somebody was going to see it and they were going to comment about it. And with going into this year and, you know, working on this journey, I just leave the videos because, you know, if people are going to say something, they're going to say something and that's okay. If someone wants to comment, then they can comment, but that has nothing to do with you. I think sometimes when people comment things that is morally to do with them than it has to do with you. And again, no one has ever said anything mean to me or commented on my body but I know there are other youtubers and other you know content creators that people have said things and I know that one day it's probably going to happen to me and I know that I just can't take you know what they say to heart you kind of just have to take it with a grain of salt and learn to kind of move forward and I know that it's going to probably be hard but I'm morally just kind of saying to myself it's going to happen someday and we're going to be okay and I think the more I work on this and the more I practice at this, the easier it's going to become. 
and I do still believe that even in the future when I get to that point where I'm the most confident and comfortable in my own skin I do believe there's going to be moments of weaknesses and there's going to be times that I do say things to myself or I comment on my body but I think by then it'll be a little bit easier not to let that you know make me anxious or make me spiral into like a depressive state because I would have had all this time to you know work on it and practice and be easy with myself to figure out you know when that thought comes up or when that feeling comes up to like kind of control that situation so I'm not going so far as being anxious or depressed you know I'm allowing myself to feel it but then I'm saying okay you know great I'm glad we feel that way but that's not how we truly feel and I just think that so far with the thoughts that come up and the feelings that have come up I've allowed myself to feel them and I've allowed myself to walk through them and then I kind of just let them go and I say you know we're going to be easy with ourselves because this is, you know, a journey. And when you go on a journey, it's something you work on every single day for the rest of your life. And I had to, you know, figure that out with my mental health. You know, at first it was really, really hard with my anxiety and feeling the way I felt and really, really hard with getting, like letting stuff upset me and getting depressed. But I've worked really, really hard at it where, of course, I have those moments of of, of like weakness but there's a lot less moments now because I know how to talk myself through them and I know how to not tip in or go over the edge and I think the more I do that with my body image the easier it's gonna be and that's why I say like I still think that you know two years three years from now I might say something or have a comment but I think by then depending on where I'm at in my journey, even by the end of this year, I could be in a totally different space with this body journey. And I could be able to, you know, have that thought and then be like, ha you know, great girl, but that's not how we truly feel. And there might be times you just never have, you know, a moment that you think that, but you know, we're women. And I even think men do it. You know, we always have something to say about ourselves and we're always going to make comments. And I just think that that's okay. And that's life. But working on that is just 100% what I'm doing right now. Again, those feelings are going to come up. I'm going to allow myself to feel them. I'm going to walk through why I feel them. And then I'm going to figure out how not to feel them in the future or if that thought comes up how to change it to like a positive thing and I kind of do that now when I put clothes on I you know look at it and I say oh my gosh look how cute you look and that outfit is so like adorable and I allow myself to kind of just feel you know confident and comfortable in my outfits and my own skin and that has helped me a lot and I just think that the more I do it the easier it will become and I'm just, you know, I'm excited about it and I'm excited to see where this journey takes me. If you're somebody who, you know, struggles mentally and is going through, you know, the same thing as me, please share with me things you've done for yourself. Definitely reach out to me, even if, you know, it, you're just going through your body image journey. Again, I think I said in my last video, I really would love to connect with other people and be able to hear their stories and share tips and you know tricks and things that work for them that could work for me and that's why I do these videos because there could be something that I say that's going to help someone else that maybe they've just never thought of maybe you've just never thought about how you know what a toll it's put on your mental health you know about the thoughts you've had and how you've been bullying yourself for so long and maybe just listening to this video it makes you realize that you kind of need to stop doing that. And I've just realized that for myself. I'm my own I'm my own bully. And if I keep bullying myself, I'm just going to keep feeling the way I feel. So I kind of need to stop bullying myself to feel better. So thank you for listening to me today. I kind of feel like I've been rambling. But it feels good to just talk about. And I feel good. And I think... It's going to take a lot of practice and 
it's definitely at times going to be hard and I'm going to be hard on myself but I know the more I do it the easier it's going to become and I can just say that like so far with what I put into place I've just been happier and more comfortable with myself and I can say that I'm not thinking so much about my body anymore or commenting on my body as much like I'm feeling a lot better about my body overall and I'm starting just to feel more confident and comfortable in my own skin and that's just what I've wanted for so long and I'm just so happy that I've chosen to take this journey and really you know start digging into it and I'm just excited to see where the future leads and what the future has to hold and I'm excited to bring you guys along. So if you have made it this far in the video and you're still here, <laughs> I want you to comment one thing that you say to yourself maybe every day or about your body that helps you you know feel more confident and to feel more beautiful because something i've done every single day is i just you know i recently just started saying you know you have a really cute tummy like your tummy is so cute and it is something that just like is there and it may have stretch marks but those stretch marks are cute and I just tell myself that I am adorable and I have a cute tummy and that cute tummy allows me to live my life every single day and it's something that might be silly but it's something that works for me so thanks for letting me chat your ear off leave that comment below something you say to yourself every day or maybe if a bad thought comes up or you would notice that you've commented like on your appearance or your look or your body like what's one thing you say to yourself to switch that around and make yourself feel better put that in the comments and i will talk to you guys again uh real soon in the next uh vlog bye guys mm -hmm.